school's change to the church now. It's August 9, Friday. It's officially my father's birthday. Nakasandal ka, nakasandal ka. Mega kami so ayun. Ano kayo nakaligain ayos mo? Hindi ako sure kung may pupuntahan kami after church. Pero gusto ko kasi manood na hello lang goodbye. Pero I'm not sure kung ano nakit kami. May ayusin ko pagdating dun sa saan. Pagdito kami sa car. Ganti yung car kasi. Material car siya. Pinigamit ka ni Papa sa work. Hindi! So, ayun. Christ nila mama and they're still outside. nag invite sila kasi I think they have an event or they have a talk. So, pumas, pinapasok muna kami dito kasi sobrang init sa labas. As you can see, I'm sweating. 
Tapos so ayun, I just wanna talk about the mask kasi I really enjoyed it. Like, feel ko sobrang relevant niya to what is happening to me right now and to what most people is probably going through. What? Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, feel ko sobrang relevant niya. And, ayun. Tapos, pero kasi, as someone who doesn't always go to church, Tas, um, pero kasi I really do believe na not going to church doesn't mean na I love God less or that my faith in Him is lesser than those who always go to church. Kasi some some might go to some might always go to church every Sunday. Some might not miss their mass. Pero after the mass, like they don't really practice what they preach. Some lang yun ha. It's just that my point is going to church or not going to church doesn't mean na you're a bad person or that you're a better person than the others. Kasi going to church doesn't matter if you don't really apply the things that you learn on your daily life. Alam mo yun na you don't, you don't live the way like you don't really apply the things that you learn from the mass or the things that you hear from the mass it doesn't really count so ayun nga lang ayun so yun I really believe na going to church doesn't make you a better person if you don't really apply it on your daily life so I, pero I don't have anything against to those who always go to church if you always go to church if you don't miss mass that's good good for you pero that's just me and that's my opinion so I just want to say that so, yun nga, I really enjoyed the mass today. So, I'm just gonna insert a short clip right here. In sa part na, feel ko that's my favorite part of the mass. That was the part where I, re I really relate the most. So, ayun, I'm just gonna insert a short clip right here. And then after that, I'm just gonna talk about it pa. Wiper, di ba? Wiper. And what does a wiper do? Oh, it wipes. <laughs> Very good. Well, a profound definition of a wiper. A wiper wipes. Tama. Bakit hindi pa pahirapan? Diba? Yes, it cleanses the water. Especially when it rains. Pinatanggal ang tubig. Ang nililinis. Para ikaw ay magkaroon ng maayos na pananaw doon sa iyong pupuntahan sa iyong dadaanan. Sino dito ang nakakita na ng wiper? Nang pag mo ang wiper mo, pumihinto ang ulan. Wala kayong ganito dito? Eh, sa Pilipinas? Wala. No? Walang wiper na so when you switch it on, the rain stops. Yet, a wiper just cleanses or wipes the water. Same with our problems. Same with faith. What faith does with our problems. Hindi ito, porque meron kang pananampalatay at analyze, pananalig sa Diyos, lahat ang problema mo, lahat ang hinahanap mo, na paghihirap mo, na paghihirap mo, na pananampalatay ako sa Diyos, bakit na paghihirap ko, hindi na wala. No. Hindi yun ang ginagawa ng pananampalataya at pananalig. Ang ginagawa ng pananampalataya ay makita natin ang bawat problema, bawat pagsubok ng ibang perspektibo o ibang pagtingin o pananaw na sa ating mga problema. Alam natin na saan ito papunta at alam natin hindi tayo nag-iisa sa pagkasama natin ang Panginoon. Amen? Walang pagkat natin ang Diyos. So you've just watched the clip that I've inserted right there. Yan yung part na ay, na, na nakarelate talaga ako. Tapos yun nga, I just wanna talk about it kasi nakarelate talaga ako kasi I feel like it's very relevant to what I'm going through right now and to what most people could be going through. Kasi syempre we all go through those times where we don't understand what is happening to our life and we keep on questioning it now why is this happening why is, why, why is God giving this to me and all that 
Pero kasi I really do think that sometimes not getting what you want is much better kasi it means na you're getting what you need. It could be na he's preparing you for a bigger one or for the better one, for a better plan or for a better future. Na you might be going through a hard time pero that hard time is making you stronger. And na you just keep on, you just need to keep on believing in him and believing in his plans. Kasi syempre, God knows better hindi naman niya tayo papabayaan and na hindi ka naman niya ilalagay sa lugar na hindi mo kayang malagpasan hindi ka naman niya bibigyan ng problema na alam niya hindi mo kaya so ayun kasi syempre hindi naman always na matutupad yung lahat ng gusto natin or lahat na gusto natin will go, will go ano, through our way or kung, kung saan paano natin sila gusto mangyari kasi kung balot lang buhay eh di ba na yun so ayun I really just enjoyed the talk and I wanted to talk about it kasi nga nakarelate talaga ako sa kanya tapos ayun ayun just keep on believing in him kahit hindi mo maintindihan yung plano niya kasi some, someday it will all make sense na you'll understand why you need to go through that kasi yun nga he might be preparing you lang so just keep your faith in him kasi hindi na kaman niya papabayaan so ayun uh, what else um, so ayun nga that's all and I hope that I made sense so kung mayroon na dyan na you don't understand what you're going through or you just feel like everything is going like kumbaga if you're feeling like the world is conspiring about about you or na sobrang puro mali na lang yung nangyayari just hold on it will get better it does get better and we keep, just keep on believing in him na there's a reason there's a reason behind your struggle It might be it's just making you strong because you need this one. Is it? Alam mo yun. And don't always look just like straight ahead. Wag lang hold on and try to look sa ibat ibang perspective. Alam mo yun. Kung baka ibat ibang 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 apply. Kung baka you try mo siya tignan in other ways para mas maintindihan mo kung bakit nangyayari sa ito kasi kung diretso lang ang makikita mo lang yung problema yun na gano'n hindi mo siya maintindihan so ayun ayun lang just keep on believing in him kasi hindi ka naman niya papabayahan and if ever na you feel hopeless it's really not that hopeless and it does get better it always get better If it's not yet better, ibig sabihin, hindi pa tapos. So, ayun. Ngayon lang. I hope that I make sense. Ngayon lang. Bye!
corn. Tapos under rice. Tapos may dalawang liter ng juice. Soda pala, soda. Tulad na siya, parang feel ko nga kaya ito ng anim na tao eh. Kanin agad, nang inasal lang. <laughs> Thank 
Ini mau lanjut saya tanya sebang. Ada ni kalau nak tunggu. Ada nak tanya. Eh, apa nama? 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 Thank you for watching. Bye. Good night. Wow. Ciao.